The family of city employee Derek Christian said they didn't believe it was just an accident when a tree fell on and killed him while he was on the job. Now we're learning that an investigation by the state's labor agency finds the city of Richmond failed to put into place several required safety measures and failed to ensure that its workers were protected that day. Let's take you back to September 14th, 2023 at Libby Hill Park. Christian, a maintenance worker for the Department of Public Works, was assigned to storm cleanup. His role, according to the city, was to remove debris and cut limbs using a chainsaw. But the weight of this tree was only being supported by a limb, and when that limb was cut, the tree rolled onto Christian, crushing him, according to the investigation report. Is the person conscious and breathing? Yes, he's drawn out of getting out of consciousness, sir. We're trying to get him out. It's a big tree. It's on him. Christian was pronounced dead at a hospital. The Virginia Occupational Safety and Health Program, or VOSH, investigated Christian's death, and they determined the city, as his employer, violated five workplace safety regulations. First, the city failed to ensure that proper cutting techniques were used and did not follow precautions while working on a tree that should have been considered hazardous. Next, the city failed to ensure that all employees assigned to storm cleanup received the proper training and orientation on tree trimming operations. Thirdly, the city failed to make sure that its workers wore helmets and exposed its employees to head injuries. The city also failed to ensure chainsaw operators and the surrounding crew wore the required hearing protection. And lastly, the city failed to ensure employees wore face protection, exposing its workers to injuries from flying particles during woodcutting operations. Richmond will have to pay more than $15,000 in penalties to the state and provide a corrective action plan to the Department of Labor and Industry. Christian's family tells me they have reviewed the citations. They say they're not surprised to see the violations and they want the city to be held accountable. We'll be sitting down with the family in the coming days and we'll share their voices as we continue to report on this story. I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.